Bryce Steinberg, aka Cat Noir. Do you want to see him transform? Will Cat and Ladybug ever kiss? <laughs> yeah. So is there a confirmed redemption arc for Chloe? What is the favorite line that you've said so far in the show? Forget it. They need a script. I know. Um. <laughs> Ezra, find me ten victims to Akuma Files. Jeremy's act posted that somebody in today's presentation will become an akumatized voice in season three. <laughs> and your likeness will be in it as well. <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, we found our room! <laughs> we found our winner! <laughs> Give it up for Miraculous Ladybug! <laughs> I mean, no spoiler today, but just teasing, which is the Miraculous Ladybug movie live action for 2019. And we also announced that the Miraculous Christmas will happen next month. This was your first Comic-Con panel. What did you think? I loved it. It was such a great experience. I have never done anything like this before, so I was a little nervous at first, but everyone was super cool, and it was just so great. I loved it. So what did you guys think of the panel today? Uh, well, I thought that it was a ton of fun. There were a lot of really, really cool announcements. Are we going to go Jump. more in-depth about the past miraculous? <laughs> yes, you would have special episodes just about it. So the big announcement for me was that we're going to make webisodes and I'm going to be the character designer for them. And I'm going to be drawing you and you're going to be in the episodes too. You will interview Ladybug and Black Cat while they are into action in Paris. It's dangerous. A lot of new information coming about, out about season two. Guys, Jeremy just said someone very soon will become Hawkmoth's boss. Oh. I love talking to Tiki and Plaid. They're so cool. <laughs> Plaid, you run out of cheese. What happens next? Uh, okay, no cheese. What do I do? Um, um, I call Tiki and I say, Tiki, do you have any cheese? And she says, I have a cow. No, wrong. <laughs> It was really fun to see all of the voice cast and how much fun they have with each other and how they love like bringing out their characters. My favorite part of today's panel was we had Linda Lee as a part of the panel. I like that a lot. Do an evil laugh for me. <laughs> Can you do your best spots on? Tiki, spots on! <laughs> so if you ever got akumatized, what type of villain would you be? Wow, I think I would transform the whole world into animation. <laughs> That's the dress from the music video. This was like in my bedroom today, so I was like, I gotta bring out the music video outfit if I'm going to Comic Con. Come on! today because I really like Ladybug and Cat in the Wall. great to see such a great fan base, a great reception, and it's great for fans especially, you know, to be able to come together and just be part of an experience like this. I'm really happy to see Miraculous, you know, just grow into the kind of show it's become. Well, that wraps it up for this episode of the MNN. What an action-packed panel full of amazing updates. I got to hang out with the cast. Someone got picked from the crowd to be akumatized in season three. I also signed autographs and it was like so cool and I got so much candy from it. I love your YouTube channel. Met some awesome fans and I loved their costumes. We, we love Miraculous. I think today was the best day ever. From Los Angeles Comic Con, I'm Linda Lee from the Miraculous News Networks and bug out. Can you do 
hear your voice. Fly away, my little Akumas, and evilize them. Cool, dude. Cool. cool. I think you're very cool. You're very cute. Very new way to bring in some, you know, new information to the channel and spread awareness about Ladybug. Everyone's gonna love you. I promise you that. <laughs> Just don't show any of the Deadpool fans. <laughs>